Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present on SQ injection using BabSuit. So I'm going to open my BabSuit here. Here it is. All right, from this page we go to next. Just want to create a temporary project. Then I want to use uh, the default uh, web settings. So we proceed with start web. So it is, it is now open. So for now we can now, uh, we can ignore this. I uh, want to, to open our browser, we go to proxy, make sure that uh, our BEPSUIT uh, community edition is, uh, is capable of intercepting. So I want to turn off, turn, turn on uh, intercept, intercept is turned on. Uh, so I don't want to, to use, I don't want to change the proxy settings for my other browser. So I'm going to open the BabSuit uh, browser. Here it is, it's open here. There it is. So uh, I'm going to use the MutilliJ uh, web, web app uh, for, my, for, my, for my practical. Uh, it's commonly used by by uh, people who want to to learn hacking. So I've uh, installed uh, exam exam on my my computer so that I can locally host the utility the utility app. So I'm going to open the utility. I'm going to open the utility website from my my. My, my my web browser. So here we can see it's opening. It's, it's on IP 127.0.0.1, which is the local host. So from here, uh, we can see because of all this information from get, from the get, uh, uh, we can see that uh, it's now being intercepted. The website, the website is being intercepted by our BabSuit app. So from here, I'm going to click on forward. So when I click here on forward, um, I'll, I'll go to, to log out and forward again. The purpose of this video is that I want to do an SQL injection that can bypass the login for, for this website app. We want to bypass the login. So basically we're showing how can we how can we bypass login credentials using SQL injection. So I'm going to go to WhatsApp 2017 injection uh, SQL uh, SQL bypass then login. So from this uh, from these clicks, we can see that all the information from the website, all the processes are being intercepted. So I can. Uh, uh click on forward then we go to to our login page then from our login page i want to put a, a random a random username let's let's just use admin because some most most of the, these websites uh use the admin as their username now i don't know the password 
So I'm going to just press N keys on my keyboard. On my keyboard, then login. After pressing the login, we can see here there is some information from our website. You can see the host. Uh, we can see the operating system that is hosting the website. Oh, that's very important information. Uh, we can see the URL here. You can see the URL here. Uh, we can see the username I've put it and the password that I have put it. So, for the sake of this uh, presentation, I'm going to copy or send all this information to our intruder tab. This is the tab. This is the, the the part where we're going to where we are going to log in. Where we're going to use our SKI injection to bypass the login credentials to bypass the login part of the website. So I'll click on action, then send to intruder. All this information is going to be copied or sent to, to the intruder tab. As we can see here, all the information is here. So I'm going to click on uh, clear so that you can clear any everything that is highlighted here. So from this page, we're going to highlight on admin. We want to use our admin. Then uh, add, then click on add. Yes. Then click on add. So after doing this, uh, as you can see, this is our password. This is the, the username I've inputted and uh, the password I've inputted. It's not correct, so it's not gonna log in anyway, but when we go to payloads now, uh, there is this part where we add strings or words that are commonly used in SQA injection. So I've 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 got a list from from GitHub. From GitHub, let me open my my Chrome. This is the list. This is the list of the SQL injection payloads that can be used to bypass uh, login. There is the, all these, uh, all these, these strings that can be used to bypass. So I've, I've downloaded the, the text document, the text document from, from, from GitHub. And I'm going to load here. So I'll click on load, I saved it on my desktop. So I'm going to search for it. So uh, SQL, SQL. This one, right. So I'm going to open it. As you can see, all all those uh, strings from from the text document are now here. So we can scroll down and see zero or one equals to one, zero or zero equals to zero. All these strings are used uh, to bypass passwords or to as an uh, as SQL injection uh, commands that can be used to, to manipulate the login. So after loading my, 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 my text document with uh, all the payloads, I'm going to start an attack here. Let's click OK. So this is what is happening. All those uh, payloads are being used so here we can see the status is 200, so that means it's okay, it's working. So from this side, you can click on any 
any payload that has been used to see if it has worked. So I've used number five, number five. Uh, we can see here number five, uh, connection close. We can go to response to see the response for number five. This is what's uh, happening. We can go to, to number six, number six, then render. Want to see if uh, it's working, it has failed. Number six is failed. Can go to number 11. Uh, number 11 is failed. As we can see, account does not exist. Then you can go to 16. It is failed. Here we can see it's 90 of 125. So there are 19. 125 payloads that can be used that are being uh, used to to try to 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 inject uh, to try to to log in. Here we can go to 19 and see here failure is always an option. It has failed. And go to 26. It's failed. Right. Here we go, on 31, you are logged in as admin. So we can see that uh, from, from the results, from the render results, from the render tab results, we can see that if you use the payload, payload O, zero equals to zero hash, we can be able to, to log in on our website. So here yeah, we've uh we've used in, uh, SQL injection to to bypass the password to bypass login. Uh let me minimize here. Uh, let me minimize here. Okay, so uh, payload third, number third one has allowed us to log in as an admin uh, on the Mutility uh, website. We can check for other, yeah, you can see uh, payload 37 also can be used to log in. Payload 56 also. Um, not this one. Yeah, a payload uh, 80 can be used. Uh, payload 80, as you can see from the above here, it can be used to as an SQL injection command that can be used to bypass our login. So this is how hackers or how vulnerable vulnerable websites can be hacked or can be attacked using SQL injection uh, with the BEPSUIT app. So it is uh, very important to use uh, the right coding techniques and uh, security features so that we can be able to protect our websites our databases, our websites and our databases, uh, our information, our data from SQL injection. Because uh, it is not very, very much uh, difficult for vulnerable uh, websites to be attacked using SQL injection as we have seen using the PubSuit app. Thank you.